Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to make these beautiful tribal masks with toilet paper rolls. I will have the complete list of supplies in the info box below. So let's get started. So we are going to dampen the toilet paper roll. We want it just a little bit dampened, not super wet. We're going to squeeze it and to make it flat like so. Then fold one third, I want to say about one third from the top down like this. Then we're going to bring the both the bottom ends inwards towards the center. So you can already see there's a facial mask coming through already. So then you're going to take your thumb and your forefinger and you're just going to pinch right in the middle. And see you can already see some kind of shape coming out of this just by doing this. Squeezing or pinching the middle. And you can already see there's some eyes coming through if you use your imagination. You can see some little eyes. Now we are going to work on the beak. This particular mask is going to be a bird-like looking mask. So then we're going to squeeze down the middle and just make it nice and a nice sharp fold. And then the very back of the bottom of the roll we're going to bring it in so it can look like an actual bird. Once you're satisfied with the look of your mask, we're going to give it a nice thick coating of white glue. It could be Elmer's or a school glue. For the second mask, we are going to start the mask just the way we did the first one. And we are going to dampen the roll the same way, fold it in half one third down and then this time when you bring in the two bottom corners in you're going to bring them in further towards the middle and we're just going to try to give it a more human like shape take your thumb and forefinger and we are going to pinch the same way we did the first mask except for this time we are going to bring in the forehead a little further down just to give this mask more of a grumpier look and you can already kind of tell this is an old grumpy man see with the wide nose and the bottom lip is kind of tucked in you can uh, leave it as is and you have a grumpy old man or keep on working until you get the look that you're going for here you can see I'm squeezing the nose a little further I'm giving it more definition I wanted to make it look a little more expressive you can also tuck in the lip a little more or you can pull it down a little further so it can look like more of a traditional tribal mask but once you're done and you are happy with the look of your mask give it a nice thick layer of glue but even after you have given the mask the glue treatment you can still work the paper like I'm going to show you right now I wanted to give this mask more of a round nose more definition to the nose so just take a wooden skewer work the nose until you get a rounder more defined nose Once you're happy with this, then you can put it to the side to dry. Use some clothespins or some paper uh, clips and hold it in place and let it dry so that we can get to the next step. Once dry, now we are going to cut some triangular shapes at the very top if you need more information on how to make these I will leave the link below for the toilet paper roll crowns and it shows you the procedure a little slower with more detail once you are done cutting we are going to curl the points like so paint the mask with acrylic paint and let them dry then we are going to give it a nice black wash and this is acrylic paint with water then take away all the excess paint to give it an aged look. 
Now the fun part begins, at least in my book, is the decorating part. So this is where you can get wild and creative or as muted as you'd like. And here I'm just going to let you watch all this because it's really basically what you decide uh, once you are done with these masks. Because once you start, you will notice that you can add a whole bunch of other elements to make the mask look more vibrant or more muted. It's up to you. So I'm going to just let you watch this and I'll come back when we are about to embellish. To embellish this particular mask, I used paper plants. I'm not sure these are beanie flowers or plants, but they made, they're made out of paper that I had from a, another project, and it looked like it had two horns at the very end. I loved it. For this other embellishment, it was a plastic placemat that I had sitting there for I don't know how long. I cut it into a little triangular shape, added some feathers, placed it into the mask once I decided that it looked uh, the way I wanted it to look. I glued it down with some hot glue. For the final touch, I added a little bead in the middle. And there you go, this one looks fine to me already. For the third one, I actually took some plastic 
plants that I used to use for a fish tank. Washed them, dried them, cut them to length, and there you go. I also added some beads in the front just to give it more dimension, more colorful, and playful look. Paint the piece of wood that you are going to hang your mask on and let it dry. Now we are going to need some twine and we are actually going to make a little noose, I want to say. It's like a little loop and I'm going to knot it to make it look like this. Once you have this, make sure that the piece of wood is, that's facing the back is facing you right now because you want the knot to be in the back of the piece of wood, not in the front. Loop the other end of the twine like so and just adjust it. Do the same on the other side. Cut the twine to length and double knot it. Add some hot glue underneath the knot to make sure that the twine stays in place. Cut the tails and add a little bit of glue on top of the knot just to make sure it does not come loose. Flip over your plank or piece of wood and now you can decide where the mask will sit. Once you have decided, it's time to glue them down with some hot glue. And there you have it guys, three tribal masks made with toilet paper row. They look amazing. Let me know what you think. Please share this video, subscribe, give me a like, and follow me on Instagram and tag me when you post your pictures of your tribal masks. Thank you. Bye.